And I'm back, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. It's your favorite homegirl, E. Reed. And I'm going to do something a little bit new this time. I want to test something out. Let me know what y'all think. I am going to watch the have and the have nots. And I'm going to keep this open so that y'all can watch it with me without watching it with me. So I'm going to give y'all my reactions while I'm actually watching it on demand. And I'm going back to the episode before the new episode that just happened this week. So, well, it just aired yesterday. So, I'm going to watch the previous episode that was from the last season. Because I did not know that stuff happened. Like, oh, I missed a major, major moment in the last episode. So, we need to go back. Because um, I don't want to just skip over those details. So right now it's on commercial. Yes, commercials and all. Um, so I think I'm going to do it one of two ways. Um, I don't know. I think I kind of like the fact that I'm going to leave it open. And y'all can be with me while I'm watching it. You know what I mean? Versus, um, you know, just giving my review after the fact. Because if you time it correctly, then you can watch it on demand too. And then you can listen to me, and it's like we watching it at the same time. So it's like you watching it with your good girl, good good homeboy or homegirl, and you know what I mean. Shout out to Lonnie B, who be saying that all the time, um, you know, and and handle it like that. So let me go get some snacks and everything, and I'm gonna be right right back. I'm gonna pause everything right now. All right, everybody, let's go. Let's see what happens. Ooh, wait. Let's see. Let's see. Oh. Veronica is such a hater. I wish she would get her life together. For real. I really wish she would get her life together, hating on her son like that. It's so sad there's a lot of parents out in this world that's like that, though. Mm. I don't know why Jeffrey always want to have his, like, battle of the wits and battle like this pissing contest that he want with his mama all the time jesus oh see this is what made me stop this little argument right here with the banister scene this is what made me go back and be like wait a minute let me watch the other episode Mm-mm-mm. Oh, look at Jeffrey getting ballsy. Y'all see that? Oh, my goodness. She's so petty. She not even fun petty. She like an ugly petty. Oh, y'all mind the, um, hold on. I'm finna pause it because it's a plane flying over all right, I'm back. They still chopping it up in front of the banister. Good Lord, they playing loud. Oh, look at Jeffrey kissing all on Madison. See, and Jeffrey wrong for even putting Madison in that mess. Man, you know Jennifer, I mean, I keep saying Jennifer. You know Veronica ain't dead. Roaches don't die. Roaches take extra, extra strength to kill. What's wrong with your people? Veronica's a serious roach. Oh. Are you sure? Yes. Oh. 
She playing it off. That's why I keep saying Jennifer, because her name's Jennifer. He is not a good actor. He putting on ten on. He putting uh twenty on ten. Like oh my gosh, who took that evidence? Busted. Busted. Cold, hard, busted. What the hell? Was it you? No, nah, it ain't her. It's another girl that looked just like her standing in front of your face. I know Tyler Perry, we trying to get new people, you know... They acting chops and stuff, and I give them kudos for that. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad Hannah finally got some peace, y'all, because Jesus. I know her, her, sometimes her righteousness can be a little aggravating, though, because it's like you allowing your pride not to allow you to live. You know, it's just, that just ain't right. That just ain't right. It's just not right, y'all. You know, it just ain't right. It just ain't right. She not used to people trying to help you. What you talking about? What you want to do with my job? We've been seeing you get help every single season. It's because you have to move on already. It's just what I know how to do. Exactly. Some folks were saying that they was going to have it written to where he was, it was going to come out that he actually is Candace's daddy. And you're still here. Benjamin. Nice to see you again, baby. Yeah. Benny get on my nerve. To be so fine, his character so slow. That's my cue. You come back to them? You don't have to answer for anybody else. Come back to dinner. Okay. Just come back, black man. You better say yes. Yeah. <laughs> See you later, baby. Benjamin. That's right, Hannah. Enjoy your life, woman. Enjoy it. Bask in. Let that man bask in your essence. All the hell and hot water that woman and been through all these seasons. She needs some peace of mind. I can't believe you let your sister go through. It's not her. Then what is it? It's this. It's us. Look at us. Look at us. Struggling all this damn time. We finally got some money sitting in an account. You don't want to touch it. It ain't ours. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Oh my God. Why are we still having this conversation? Don't ask me my business. I'm asking you a question. Who the hell you think you're talking to? Don't question me. Right. Know your place. Stay in your lane, Benny. Need to give them people their money back. For real though. Lay down. Oh no, sir. No, sir. Your stuff is over there by the door. What? You heard me. Your stuff is over there by the door in a box. You're lucky it ain't in a trash bag. Oh. You're true. All of what you want to. You're being serious. Mm-hmm. Heather Cry has given us a lot. That's right. You don't want to give her how many back you can with it. 
That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. She right. Okay. You better get off your shoulders, Benny. If that's all you came with, that's all you came with. Yeah. What party you got to go, don't you get, Benny? Yeah. Told you he was some kind of slow. Crazy, I can leave you alone if that dude comes back here. Miracle, be here. Oh, she will never. Maybe. Oh? Yes, I do. Get out. I know that's right. You little spoiled brat. You just gonna take some money that don't belong to you. <laughs> and be alright with it though. You better go on over there and run the candies. Cause you certainly can't run the Veronica. She laying on boxes. It is so crazy to watch Jim on this show, and I used to watch him as a kid on the Deuce of Hazard, y'all. I used to want to pretend, I used to want to climb through windows and cars so bad. I remember when I first was able to do it. Mm -mm. I feel so sorry for David. Mm -mm. Jeffrey got a whole nother kind of a problem. What? Yes. She had Lloyd Bowman open mm, up the mm, mm. Did she? Are you okay? Did no. You the man almost got blown up. Right. All right, listen about Veronica. You know I'm going to have to do something. I don't know who be writing the script sometimes for these for these these scenes, but I'ma need them to get better at the conversation piece. Cause even in regular soap operas during the daytime ones, the dialogue goes a little bit quicker than a lot of the back and forth. Now sometimes they do have a lot of back and forth of the same conversation, but come on man. Catherine in that blue, yes. She looks so good in blue. Dressed like that. I know because it pops with her skin tone, but it's just great. Yes. Wait a minute, are you wearing a new fragrance? What is that I smell? Since when do you care about how I look or how I smell? Mm hmm I don't. Mm -hmm. This fragrance is called Out with the Old. <laughs> Go on in, Catherine. Go on in, girl. Out with the old. I know that's right. She's having an affair. Oh, oh, oh. What? Yeah. Go to your room. No, I heard her on the phone. <laughs> Cell phone. Why? How the hell could you hear it? She went to the other room, picked up the landline, and called. Mm. Wow. Landline. Smart move, Catherine, because don't nobody check landlines no more. Call him out to be gay.
Ah, <laughs> Jim trying to say he was gonna do a menace to society. I'll tell y'all about that in commercial. Oh. She said they found out that I took the bullet. They're going to arrest me. Who is going to arrest me? They know it was me. They caught me on camera. What are you talking about? They know that I took the bullets and gave them to you. Oh, oh, oh. Sarah, I have no idea what you're talking about. Jim. She's such a fool. I'm sorry, Jeff. They made me do it. They made me do it. I have no idea what you're talking about, Sarah. None at all. Jim, I'm sorry. I have Jim. no idea what you are talking about. You're delusional. Sarah? That was a wax scene. That was such a wax scene. Shut up. I'm really getting disappointed. I swear you, son, if I walk up those stairs, you won't live to regret it. Oh, please, please. One of us will be under misery. You make sure he doesn't leave. Hey, keep him here. Hey, you can't keep me locked in here. Come on. Uh, too late. Oh, excuse me. That is a shame to be followed around like that. Oh, maybe there ain't no commercial. Well, the whole Minister Society joke that I said earlier about what he said about what he would do for whatever kind of drugs. You know what I mean? If y'all remember in Minister Society where uh, old dog was talking to the dolphin about the cheeseburgers <laughs> in the alleyway. And he was like, I suck yo. Mm. Oh, dog was like, "What you say?" I didn't want to be there. It was a dark. It was a, it was a dark scene, but I'm just saying. In that one moment, it went from comedy to dark. You think? And I certainly don't like the person that you are. Why? Okay, just you used to be kind and caring. When? I was not. No, it wasn't. That's who you are. No, it's not. With all that has happened, you've become cold hearted. What is Landon talking about? She's never been caring. Oh, She's always been calculated and cold hearted. That's why everything came okay. back to her. A so hundred fold and then some. Landon. Is it Oscar? I know you fell in love with him. I did. And it will never happen again. So the Congress. I, I was real I really thought Oscar was the one at that point. David played a good one on everybody. That I think that was when Tyler was more um involved with the show. Because I think now he just oversees it. I don't think he's as involved. Because it has definitely... The quality has definitely declined a little bit. You're just scared of loving him. I know you like him. Mm-mm-mm. You know? Yes, I know you do. Hell, if you gave me one look, I would sleep with him. <laughs> That's because, Landon, you want to sleep with the president-elect. That's what that means. That's why you saying that. You ain't fooling nobody. What did I do this, First Lady? Mm -mm -mm. There have been a lot of First Ladies who need a lot of What's it like? Like who? The White House. Politics. You will be very good at it. Yes, you will. You're smart. Take no shit, you're hustling. That part. That's all they all are. Yep. Once you get the hang of it, you will master it. Yep. Right. Why did you lie to me? Thank you. About? The other girl. You told me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you did. Hmm. <laughs> 
There was no other girl. He really cares about you, and he's scared too. Right. Kenneth, you know, man, he wants someone by his side with this. Not some sweet girl from the suburbs. For real. He's a street hustler like you. Someone smart like you. Who needs him? Yeah. He doesn't. He need a project. He talks about you every night on the bus. That's what she is. She a project. Stop lying. I'm telling you the truth. Like that, she like that power. Can I tell you something she else? just don't like the fact that she won't this be the one with the power true. over him. It's just him and his staff up there. He wanted you up there. Landon, <sighs> just go up to your room, knock on the door, and just be open to him. Talk to him. He knows everything about me, except how you truly feel. That part. Let time tell. Oh, did y'all? Did you hear what he said? Oh, we. I heard that, Landon. You better go, boy. Talk about why I'm sitting this be to the man I love. I heard that. Oh, wait. Job, all right, yeah. Captain. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Did you get this room cleaned? Yep. <laughs> you want to check me out? No. I want you to come here. <laughs> oh. Check me out. Oh, I can do that. Come on. Wait. Okay, <laughs> Captain. There's one thing I need to tell you. Okay, what? You know that prostitution ring? Uh oh. What are you saying? I have a partner. I think you might I'm a pimp. That's what he's saying. What are you saying? I'm a pimp. Her name is Candace Young. Oh. We run from the bar. Oh. Uh, you've got to be kidding. Sorry. <sighs> You're fired. Oh. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, you don't? Mm -hmm. See, I know you want it. And the truth is, I'm running a business. I needed to have something on you to make sure you couldn't put her out of the hotel, fire me, or the bartender. Sorry. Okay. Okay, where are you going? Like I said, you're fired. Catherine, I have to sue you for sexual harassment. Nope. Then what? Do you have any idea who you're trying to blackmail? That girl may think she can blackmail my husband, but I'm the kind of bitch who'll just have you murdered or shoot you myself. She ain't lying either. What are you doing? I'm getting what I came here for. <laughs> and then we can discuss this little ring of yours. Bossy. Take your clothes off. Now. She said strip. No. <laughs> Y'all, I am enjoying this. Catherine, Catherine was just like, no, nah, I'm finna get what I came for, honey. Took all her clothes off. It was like strip. Give it up. She pulled a straight man move, okay? I don't know if I was looking at her or watching Jim, honey. 
Cause ain't that what Jen did to old girl Jamie. Jennifer? Where's Grandma Rose? She's mm -hmm. Oh, did Grandma Rose cut you off? She's still got the head on back. <laughs> yeah, she does. I need some help, man. You gotta help me out. Help? What are you supposed to help you with? Look, if you want to talk to her, go down to the restaurant. I can't do that. Why not? You know how pissed she is, and you know what's going to happen. For real? Stop the family. You know she hates them. Makes us weak. Look, if she would just hear my side of the story, she would understand everything. There ain't no side of the story. Benny did this to himself. As usual. Per usual. Per usual. Gonna go for it, huh? She gonna shoot her shot. She gonna shoot her shot. You gonna shoot your shot, girl? I need to get my eyebrows professionally done. People be, my friend be laughing at me because I told her I ain't never had them done before. Not, well, yeah, not professionally, no. Thank you. I sure haven't. Now I have my eyelashes done, but that was at a networking event. Anyway, back to the show. That is a pretty uh, gown she got on, I will say that. It kind of remind me of this nightgown my mama used to have when I was a kid. That whole peach color going on. Looks really nice on chocolate skin tone. What? I'm angry and I don't know what to do with it. I'm 
trying to find something, y'all. Forgive the noises. I sent a thug to my mother's house. Because she has money that doesn't even belong to me. That part. Let me ask you this. For real. Exhausted. See, at the end of the day, people, you gotta you gotta be vulnerable with That's someone. What? Sometimes, even I if it's a stranger, you just never know. You know. I'm not saying he might not be up to no good, but I am saying that sometimes it do feel good to get some things off your chest and be vulnerable and say it. Mm -hmm. I got around people I trusted. Well, I don't have any of those. My brother. Won't be around you. He can't even look at me right now. Can you blame him, though? I'm just saying. Can you blame him? Too perfect. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can understand that. There's something here. I can definitely understand that. That can break my heart. She got a point. She got a point. I just can't take another heartbreak. Mm -mm -mm. I won't break your heart. She like you asking of a lot right now, bruh. <laughs> Do you want to? I don't know. Let me take you away from all of this. Let me show you a world, a new way of living. Try it. Try it. You might like it. Ain't that something? He know everything about her and he still want her. That is beautiful. Mm. 
Okay. Okay. Okay, this thing is like extra long. Alright, we did it. They do it. Good job, Mitchell. See, we all need a friend like Mitchell. What? No, listen, uh, Mitchell, ben Benjamin needs to learn some respect. Hannah. What? Mitchell and Benny in the house now. No, it's Tell her why, fool. What are you talking about? Hannah? Benny is in trouble. What kind of trouble? The kind of trouble where he can't be sitting on your front porch. So please go let him in. Okay, thank you. What'd they do? Stab him? They must have stabbed him. They must have stabbed him. Which is smart considering the neighborhoods you ain't gonna shoot it up because of the type of neighborhood she in. So. And the last time they tried to shoot him, he got a little bit of help and he felt like he was Rambo. Well, y'all, that's the end of the last seat, last episode of the last season. I'm gonna be back with the next episode, but all I can say is this, y'all: it was definitely interesting to see how this thing played out. Next on the haves and the have-nots. Definitely interesting to see how this all play out. Ooh, boy. Or maybe I should just go ahead. Y'all want me to, um... Nah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this one. And then I'll be back with the next one. So that way people ain't gotta feel they gotta, you know, listen to the whole thing. You know? That's what I'm gonna do. Alright, so I'm gonna be back, y'all. But, I, you know, the aftermath of everything, let me just put it like this. That was... It was... It was... I'm glad that... Uh, what's the name? Candace. Let her guard down. I'm kind of glad about that. Uh, I'm glad Hannah got her guard down to, you know, embrace having some a love interest. Thank you, writers, for that. Uh, Benny, seen it coming. Mitch is a good friend. And uh, Landon is going to struggle with what he's doing right now. There's going to come a moment where it's going to be a little hateration going on. I feel it coming. And uh, Veronica, well, ain't really nothing I can say about that for the simple fact that you reap what you sow. All right. All right. I'll be back with the next one, y'all. Um, I love you. Talk to you later. Bye.